And look what I found behind the building. Good morning, it is a beautiful day to film Tundras, ladies and gentlemen, Sunday, just after 6 a.m. We are here, Lakewood Toyota, to see what they have on the lot. Looks like we got some used Tundras, and then we will go over to the new and see if we have any 2022s. So these we have definitely filmed before, but we will do a quick once over in case we have new subscribers on the channel. Here we got a magnetic gray metallic SR5. TRD Off-Road Crew Max. Yesterday's video we did, we talked about what is the true face of the Tundra when it comes to trim. And a lot of you said SR5 TRD Off-Road, just like this right here. High volume truck. This one is either a 2020 or a 2021. And you may ask how I know that. There is no uh, antenna on the fender and it has a shark fin on top. And that is only 2020 and 2021. This has push button start in it. 8 inch screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. No bed liner. Got a bed mat. And we absolutely love the gray. One of the best colors. Now here's a question for you, just while I'm here. How do you feel about the decals on the side of the bed? Are you a fan of that or not? Looks like we got a sticker on the other side, but this is a nicely loaded truck. And this is what I was saying in the video also. Like, you get the best of both worlds here. You get a truck that is a lot better priced than maybe something like this, which is a Platinum. And you still get good stuff, like the TRD Off-Road Package, Bilstein Shocks, great wheel and tire package on there. Get the LED headlights, LED fog lights. It does the job. Toyota Safety Sense is available on all trims of Tundra, and it looks good. There's another shot in there, if you wanna see. So this is 50,995, 2021. 16,225 on miles. So there you have it, a nicely loaded Crew Max. And let's not forget, no matter what trim you get in Crew Max, that window goes all the way down. A beautiful truck. And this doesn't have it on it, but you could get blind spot monitoring and parking sensors, but this does not have it. And a way you can tell just by walking up to a truck to see if it has it or not, if it has that chrome bumper back there, it does not have the parking sensors. The parking sensors mean you will have a body colored rear bumper on the later models like this quick look at this platinum another one that we've walked before but beautiful black with the silver looks amazing love it 2019 it's a four-wheel drive 9291 on mileage 58 grand so if you're wondering if these prices have come down yet the answer is absolutely not beautiful black truck i like these wheels Pretty much the same wheel as the TRD Sport, 20 inch. Please do not wash or wax or detail. Note in there. I love what they did in 2018 with the Platinum Grill. They changed it. Uh, if I have a picture of the old Platinum Grill, I will put it up now next to it to show you what it was, 14 to 17. This is way better. And the Platinum is great because you get body color bumpers front and rear. If you're not a huge fan of the Chrome, but if you're gonna have Chrome, black's the way to go because you got the handles, you got the mirror caps. Beautiful truck, diamond stitched, heated, ventilated seats. A beautiful truck for sure. And then right next to it, 1794 with the TRD off-road package. This is a gem. I love the 1794. Beautiful looking truck, parking sensor. See how it's body color. And then you have the parking sensor right there. And some of the older model Tundras, it still had the chrome bumper with the parking sensor. I can't talk. Uh, with the parking sensors, but they have since body colored the rear bumper. Look at those seats. Beautiful. A beautiful truck for sure. No sticker on this one. But the white looks good with the TRD off-road package. And as we've said before, because we've seen them, this is the 1794 TRD. This is just the regular 1794. No TRD. 20-inch wheels, 18-inch wheels. Another one that doesn't have a sticker on it. Two beautiful trucks right there and we have walked this one a few times this is the 4.6 liter sr5 4x4 double cab can't go wrong this does have a sticker i believe this is pretty plain jane um purpose built if you will or a nice truck to get started on a build Thirty-seven thousand dollars. this is a 2018 54 843 don't forget 2018 was the first year of toyota safety sense on the tundra and instantly it was available on all trims 
All right, it's time to take that walk. There's that TRD Pro again still there. There's another Tundra back there. It looks like it is somebody's that they just traded in because it looks like the plate just came off the front. Let's go see if we have any new 2022s here. Last time we were here, a couple SR5s. Lakewood, what a beautiful day to walk the lots. I'm glad you guys are here with me. I see quite a few Tundras just by looking over the top here. I see SR5, SR5, SR5 TRD Off-Road, and it looks like a TRD Sport. And I have not seen a TRD Sport yet, so that is cool. And then we'll walk around to see if we could find anything else. You never know if they got one tucked over there or something. I have seen that before. We'll do a quick walk around of the SR5 here. Really can't go wrong, and, and white does the job because the white with the black, and I know a lot of people have a problem with the grill and that not being body color right there, maybe down at the bumper, but you know what? That's an easy change out. You could do that yourself, but the white with the black, everything flows together really nicely. A black wheel would look really good on this. Got your parking sensors there. I don't know why people don't like the headlights. I like the headlights. I think it's a menacing front grille, very much like the Avalon, if you've ever looked at that. Teach their own. Pricing on this, this is a four x four Tundra, SR5 Kermax with five and a half foot bed. You can get six and a half foot bed, please keep that in mind. This has 45, 805 before anything. Blind spot monitoring, outer mirrors, $50. SR5 convenience package, 1510. So that gives you rear parking assist, blind spot monitoring, all the good stuff. Uh, all weather floor liners, 169. Stainless steel door edge guard, 150. And you get the non-skid spray on bed liner, 579. So it's coming down to 49,958. And then with the markup, 65,302. Focus on this. So this is a good price for the truck right here. For a sticker price, it does not have the big screen in it, if you could see it there. It has cloth seats, if you can kind of see that. This is a Crew Max. Once again, that window goes all the way down in this generation as well. A very nice looking truck. I do like the taillights. Tundra, you can put the inlay in that if you don't like that in white. And I dig the spray and bed liner, especially when it has the Tundra up there. This looks to be the same exact thing. Uh, one quick thing before we go to the front. I love the black bumpers. So on the, on the SR5s, the bumpers are in black. On the Limited, they are a machine silver slash chrome. I can never tell exactly what they are. It's definitely not a mirror finish chrome, but it might have a little chrome to it. This is the the composite bed liner, no spray on. This has anything different. This has the small screen in it as well. See it there. Um, cloth seats, this is pretty much literally the same exact vehicle. And it's good to have this sitting next to it because this grill changes when you go TRD off-road and you get a little TRD right there. See the difference? But well, we'll look at that in a minute. That's a nice truck. I don't see a lot of TRD off-roads in the new gen up here, so that's pretty cool. Here's a shot of the inside with less glare. And this one here is 49229, so pretty much the same thing, starting 45805. There is no markup sticker on this one. But very nice, very nice looking truck. Plain Jane to some, but to me it's a great start. And if you just want the truck to do the job and a little bit of look to it, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck. For me, if I bought this today, I like to give you guys some of the things I see right away that I would do. I would black out the badges and change the wheels and tires and this thing would be ready to go. But for me, I would aim to get the TRD off-road. Great looking truck. It's got that big, now here's something that'll blow your mind because we always talk about the little Easter egg things here and there, right? If you get an SR5, okay, this is gonna make you laugh. You get an SR5, non-TRD off-road, body color surround with the grill, okay? If you get a TRD off-road, they begin to chrome that lip. I don't know. I would have kept it body color. I think it would look cool. That's just me, but the wheels look great on this. I'm pretty sure this is the first, maybe second, SR5 TRD off-road I've seen. Wheels look real good. This is in your magnetic gray metallic. Can't go wrong with that. This looks like it has the small screen in it as well. It does. And am I seeing, yeah, this is the six and a half foot bed on the Crew Max. I can't really back up too much because I got this other truck behind me, but 
It seems long, but it looks good. A lot of people say it looks proportionate with the big bed and the big cab. I'm gonna agree with that. I really like the wheels in person. I don't hate it. This is missing the center caps, of course, but good looking truck. See now, because it has the TRD off-road package, it chromes back here as well. I don't know. I gotta talk to Mr. Swears about that. That blows my mind a little. Composite bed liner. This is what people have been asking about for a long time. The big bed, six and a half foot bed with the crew cab. And there's your blacked out emblems, SR5 and the Tundra and the pricing on this. So this is 47,115. Crew Max, six and a half foot bed, four by four. And then you get the TRD off-road premium package that gives you all the fun TRD stuff, which as you can see, you can pause the video. I've read this many a times. It gives you a lot more than it ever did with the TRD off-road package. So 4180 TRD convenience package. That includes the blind spot monitoring, the front and rear assist, with automated braking, heated leather steering wheel for 320 carpet floor mats, 54069-69413 with their markup here. This has the small screen on it. It's SR5, so you can't get a moonroof. Keep that in mind. So as we go down, SR5, SR5, SR5 TRD off-road, check this out. SR5 TRD Sport with the big 20-inch wheels. This is 100% the first time I'm seeing one of these. In black, this thing just came off the truck for delivery. They didn't even do the pre-delivery inspection on this yet, it looks like. Looks like they just took it off the truck here. Six and a half a bed, this is a double cab. What do you think of these wheels? I like it. Not a bad looking wheel at all. The old TRD Sport just pretty much shared the same wheel with the Platinum, so I like what they've done there. It has uh, a body color rear bumper on it and the sun is really coming up now and I apologize for that we got a tonneau cover on it try to get out of the way of the sun here use the building as my blocker blacked out badging I dig that I like the TRD Sport I like the idea of the TRD Sport this has the big 14 inch screen in it I can see it already cool it has the soft tex leather you kind of see there it's all covered so let's see pricing so Tundra 4x4, SR5 double cab, six and a half. But in case you didn't know, because some people don't, some of the you know Tacoma trims are a little different than Tundra. The TRD Sport is an add-on package to the SR5, okay? 43755 before any add-on. This has the premium audio package, 1145, and that includes that big 14-inch screen. The TRD Sport premium package, 4280. Pause the video to see what you get. Some good stuff in there. And the TRD Convenience Package 1570, same as the other truck. Heated leather steering wheel 320. All weather floor liners 169. Trifold tonneau cover 1295. That's expensive. Stainless steel door edge guard 150. They're asking 54, 379, or 69, 723. A beautiful truck, for sure. I like it a lot. TRD Sport. Not a bad looking truck. Thank you, Toyota of Lakewood, for having such a nice selection because we get the SR5, SR5, TRD Off-Road, TRD Sport. So that's your SR5 lineup right there. Which one you choosing out of these? I really like this one, but I like the Off-Road too. It's tough. One thing to note, please keep in mind, if you get the TRD Off-Road package in the Limited or 1794, you get a 20 inch TRD wheel versus what you are seeing there, which is an 18 inch wheel. I will put that picture up. You're probably seeing it right now, the difference in the wheels. Well, you have to let me know which one you like more. And look what I found behind the building. What a gem. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the Capstone Tundra. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Obviously just came in, still has all the wrap on it and everything. I'm gonna be honest with you, right up front, right away, in person, that grill looks amazing. It's got those big 22 inch wheels. It has the blue outline around on the Toyota logo. The grill looks really nice, the design. It's black with chrome, so it definitely helps it a little bit. It's got that interior. I can see it from here because of the sun, but that is a beautiful, beautiful truck. Wow. The pictures don't do it justice. Got that big iForce Max up on the top here because, don't forget, you can only really get this in one configuration, and that is Crew Max, five and a half a bed with the iForce Max. This is in magnetic gray metallic. This is the color to get for this. Look at the capstone on the side of the door. The interior looks sweet. It's just different with that black and the cream kind of white they got going on in there. It's got the pano roof. Like I said, pretty much comes as is. Power step on the back, power side steps, a fully loaded truck. Look at that thing. Look at the wheels. 
gotta let me know if you like these wheels. It has wrap on it, so hopefully next time we come here, we'll be able to really see it uh, up front after they, you know, do their inspection when they first get it. Called PDI. They got the inlay and the tundra. That's like a nice chrome mirror. Chrome end caps on the back. Obviously your tow hitch. Composite bed liner. If you could see it in there again. Sorry about the sun. I want to see the sticker on this thing. This ain't cheap. So as you can see, it really doesn't have anything extra in it. All weather floor liners, wheel locks. There's your standard stuff. This is a hybrid once again, Capstone Crew Max. The flagship Tundra, ladies and gentlemen. Price of this one, 75474 with markup, 95818. I'm going to hover over that if you want to pause it and read all the stuff in this. The interior looks awesome, though. If you could get a good look at that. Really looks good. Here you go. Here's a good shot of the wheel. A very nice truck. So in person, the truck looks really good. Good news is I'll be having one of these as a press vehicle in under a month, so we will really get a good look at it, but this is something special here. I'm glad we could see the capstone. And uh, upon first review, it looks really, really good. Like the grill a lot. Love they put the little blue outline around because it's a hybrid. Just overall, this may be the color to get because magnetic gray makes everything look great. Look at this thing.